Buongiorno, benvenuti alla mostra di Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, this is the first time we come to Australia uh, and the, certainly the first time to Tasmania with this exhibition of the machines of Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, Leonardo was born in a town called Vinci near Florence in 1492 and uh, at the age of 17 he moved to Florence. He was a talented painter of course and we, as we will know the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper are just two of his masterpieces, but he was uh, fascinated by engineering and machinery. So he began drawing them and also to um, uh, create his, um, his ideas, put his ideas on paper and uh, create the machines that would possibly achieve his dreams. The codices that he left, uh, we're talking about 50 or 60 books, of which we have only about 12 left. I've got two examples of the codices. The Codex Atlanticus, the first collection of uh, drawings uh, collected by uh, an artist, an architect, uh, Pompeo Leoni. Um, he collected them purely as a, uh, as a gimmick, as an interesting uh, collection of um, a pretty drawing and presented it to the king as a present. This one on the side of it is the anatomy which is now at Windsor Castle. Um, these were far-sighted examination of the human body. One of his major dreams was to fly. Uh, firstly, he would uh, study the birds, and from understanding how birds fly, he started constructing flying machines. Um, he then thought of building machines that could carry men, um, and when he, once he understood that air is a fluid, he thought he could build a machine that could thread through that fluid a little bit like a propeller thread through the water. And unfortunately, he was limited to the material, the rope, the, the uh, wood and the iron that was available in his days was obviously too heavy to lift the machine. So he put this box here. Not many people understand what that box is for. And the artisans that build this machine uh, have claimed that this is where he wanted to put a spring, a very strong, a coiled spring when released would in fact be able to lift this object. Then he thought if one flies he might have to come down somehow and uh, he invented the parachute. This actually was uh, tested and uh, does work. When he became a little bit older and he realized that life in Florence was uh, professionally tough, uh, he had to compete with people like uh, Botticelli and Michelangelo for uh, uh, painting commissions and art commissions, he decided to apply for position uh, in Milan to the residence of um, Ludovico Moro, the Duke of Milan, and he presented himself as an engineer. He said, I could build machines that defeat your enemies, I can build bridges to attack fortresses, I can build catapults um, to defeat your enemies. And at the end of the letter he then said, I'm also a painter. So these are only a PR exercise, they, they were actually never built. Uh, but the concept was there, the first tank. Now the scuba diving equipment, he was presenting this to the Venetians that were at danger of being uh, attacked by the, uh, the Turks. He thought that if I could uh, organize an underwater army, I could defeat the enemy has been tested, uh, made of uh, leather skin of course, and this could operate to a depth of about 20 meters. These collections of machines are made by artisans that live and work in Florence. Um, I uh, lived in Florence for three years and uh, accidentally walked into one of their exhibitions and uh, I realized how uh, interesting uh, and, and what potential interest there would be in, in this part of the world. Uh, so I suggested to the artisans that I should be uh, uh, given the possibility of uh, bringing it to, to Australia and, uh, and the Southeast Asia region.